Hello everyone, my name is David. Today we are going to take a look at another horrible case with you. On June 23rd, 2024, two murders occur in a house on the same day, prompting the police to begin investigating the case. The police decide to start by reviewing the footage from the CCTV camera installed outside the house. However, they discover something very strange. On the day of the murders, the CCTV camera was turned off. It was clear that whoever turned off the camera was responsible for the murders, but the police faced the question of who had turned it off. This story begins in the Yamunanagar area of Haryana, India. Yamunanagar is known for its plywood units and paper mills, providing wood to large industries. In this area lived a family of three, the 50-year-old head of the household, Mina Saini, her 29-year-old daughter, Kajal, and her 27-year-old son, Rahul Saini. Mina Saini's husband had passed away, and since then she had worked hard to stabilize the family's financial situation. Now, Rahul Saini ran a small business, and his sister, Kajal, worked as a salesgirl at a mobile shop. After her husband's death, Mina had managed to stabilize her family with great difficulty, and now everything was going well in the Saini family. But on June 23, 2024, something happened that destroyed the entire Saini family. On June 23rd, Kajal decided to take a day off work and go to the salon. Around 2 p.m., Kajal received a message from her mother on her phone. In the message, Mina Saini had written, Daughter, bring two juice packets on your way home. When Kajal saw this message after finishing at the salon, it was around 4 p.m. and she arrived home with the juice. However, when Kajal entered her house, she saw that everything was scattered around, and when she went into the drawing room, she found her brother's blood-soaked dead body lying on the floor. Seeing this, Kajal frantically ran to the bedroom, where she found her mother's dead body lying on the bed. Seeing the dead bodies of her mother and younger brother, Kajal went outside and told some neighbors about it. Some people came to see the crime scene themselves, and one of them called the police. Everyone was trying to talk to Kajal, but she was in no condition to say anything as she was crying uncontrollably. A few minutes later, the police arrived at the crime scene, and as soon as they entered the house, they saw that everything was scattered on the floor. Additionally, when the police saw the dead bodies of Mina and Rahul Saini, they found that both were murdered in the same manner. There was a lot of blood coming from their heads, indicating that both victims were attacked with a heavy object. Besides this, there were marks on Mina's neck, and a charging cable was found near Rahul's body. In the initial investigation, the police theorized that this was a case of robbery, as some valuable items were missing from the house. The police believed that when Mina and her son Rahul tried to stop the robbers, they first attacked their heads and then strangled them with the charging cable. Afterward, the robbers fled with the jewelry and money from the house. Both bodies were sent for post-mortem, and with the help of forensic experts, several fingerprints and some forensic evidence were collected from the house. Since Kajal was at the Salon, she was the only surviving member of the family, and the only one who could tell the true story to the police. After the situation calmed down, the police questioned her, and Kajal told them that she had left home around 10 a.m. to go to the Salon. However, around 2 p.m., her mother sent her a message asking her to bring two packets of juice. When she was done at the salon, she bought the juice packets and came home. But when she arrived, she found the bodies of her brother and mother, and the entire house was ransacked. Apart from this, she had no information about why, how, or when all this happened. Well, now Kajal shows the police the message in which her mother had asked her to bring two juice packets. Seeing the message and its timing, the police became convinced that Kajal was telling the truth. Following this, the police learned that there was a CCTV camera installed outside their house, so they decided to check the footage from June 23rd. 
However, when the police checked the hard drive to view the camera recordings, they found that the recordings were visible up until 6 a.m. on June 23rd. After that, someone had turned off the live recording of the CCTV camera. This seemed very strange to the police because, on the same day that a double murder occurred in the house, the CCTV camera was turned off in the morning. Now the question was, who turned off the CCTV camera and why? This was where the entire case took a turn. For the first time, the police suspected that it couldn't have been done by a stranger, but someone close to the Saini family must have been involved in this conspiracy. Only three people lived in the house, and of them only Kajal had survived, so the police questioned her once again. But Kajal repeated the same story she had told the police earlier. The police then expanded their investigation and decided to check all the CCTV cameras in the street where Kajal's house was located. The police's motive behind this was to find out who came to Kajal's house and who left the house. Early on, the police noticed a CCTV camera installed near Kajal's house with its angle directed towards her home. Although the camera's quality wasn't very good, it could still reveal who entered and exited Kajal's house. The police decided to review the footage and started by looking at the recordings from June 23rd, between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. They did this because Mina Saini had messaged her daughter to bring two packets of juice at 2 p.m., indicating that Mina and Rahul were alive at that time. By 4 p.m., Kajal had already arrived home, making it clear that if Mina and Rahul Saini were murdered, it must have happened within these two hours. However, after watching two hours of footage, the police found nothing, as no one entered or exited the Saini family's house during this period. The police then reviewed the footage from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., but found nothing again. They continued to check the footage from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., but still found no suspects. The police then reviewed footage from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., but nothing was recorded. However, when they reviewed the footage from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., they saw a boy entering Kajal's house. He exited about half an hour later, carrying some items. Shortly after he left, Kajal was seen leaving the house on her scooter. Now, Kajal had left the house at 8 a.m. and returned around 4 p.m. Here, the police caught Kajal's first lie because she had initially told the police that she went to the salon at around 10 a.m. After this, the police questioned Kajal again, and once more, Kajal said that she left the house around 10 a.m. and didn't know what happened after that. But now, the police showed Kajal the CCTV footage, which clearly showed that Kajal had left her house between 8 and 9 a.m. Additionally, the police asked Kajal about the boy who had stayed at her house for half an hour. But Kajal refused to recognize the boy and told the police that she didn't know who he was or when he came to their house. Meanwhile, when the post-mortem report came, everything became clear. The post-mortem report showed that Mina and Rahul had died between 7 and 8 in the morning. On the other hand, the story Kajal told the police was completely opposite to this evidences. So, the police checked the location history of Kajal and Mina's mobile phones, which showed that when Mina messaged Kajal to bring juice, her phone's location was outside the house. But the surprising thing was that around 2 p.m., the phone locations of both Kajal and Mina showed the same place. Now the question arose, did Kajal message herself from her mother's phone? Mina and Rahul's time of death mother and daughter phones being in the same location, and the house CCTV camera being off all raised suspicions around Kajal. Therefore, the police took Kajal to the station for a strict interrogation. Eventually, Kajal confessed to killing her mother and brother and revealed the entire story behind her actions. Friends, before moving forward in the video, I have a small request for you. I want to let you know that behind the David True Crime channel, there is a team of five people who work hard to bring you the best quality content through thorough research. If you appreciate our efforts, 
you can support us according to your preference by visiting the link provided in the description. Your small support will motivate us to work effectively on the channel. Thank you. Now, let's continue with the story. Since childhood, Kajal's family raised her like a boy, with a boy's hairstyle and boy's clothes. As Kajal grew up in this environment, her parents became worried when she continued to hang out with boys and behave like them even in adulthood. But when Kajal's mother started trying to stop her from living like a boy, it led to frequent arguments between them. Kajal had created an Instagram account where she posted pictures in boys' clothing. During this time, Kajal arranged for her brother to marry one of her friends, but the marriage soon fell apart because Kajal attempted to form a physical relationship with her brother's wife. Later, Rahul married another woman, but Kajal found herself attracted to this new sister-in-law as well. When Rahul's second wife discovered Kajal's feelings, she also divorced Rahul. This indicates that Kajal was attracted to women and was a lesbian. Although Kajal continued to have frequent fights with her mother and brother, leading her to start living in a separate room on the first floor of her house. However, staying in a single room on the first floor all day had the side effect of making Kajal feel like her mother and brother were her enemies. Kajal began to feel that as long as her mother and brother were alive, she couldn't live her life the way she wanted. It was at this point that Kajal first thought of killing her mother and brother, but she realized she couldn't do it alone. She then thought of enlisting the help of her maternal uncle's son, Krish. Kajal knew that Krish would definitely help her carry out this double murder because there was a dispute over some ancestral property among Kajal's mother Meena and her siblings. Kajal incited Krish by telling him that as long as her mother and brother were alive, he wouldn't get any share of the property, but if they were dead, they could split the property among themselves. Krish, wanting revenge against his aunt, agreed to murder Meena and Rahul Saini. Not only that, but Krish also told his brother Ishant about the plan. However, Ishant refused to be a part of it. Well, after this, on June 23, 2024, Kajal invites Krish to her house. At that time, her brother Rahul was shave his beard. However, Kajal had already turned off the CCTV cameras in the house so that Krish's arrival would not be recorded. Then Krish meets Rahul and goes inside a room. Inside the room, Kajal's mother Meena was present. Initially, both Kajal and Krish attack Meena Saini with a heavy object. Meena screams loudly, and hearing her screams when Rahul starts entering the room, Krish attacks him in the drawing room itself. Afterward, while Meena and Rahul are writhing in pain, Kajal and Krish strangle both of them with a charging cable to ensure they are dead. Now, to give the whole scene the appearance of a robbery, they ransack the entire house, and Krish takes some valuable items with him. Additionally, when Kajal left the house on her scooter, she had also taken some jewelry from the house in her scooter's trunk, including her mother's mobile phone. But what Kajal does after leaving the house is quite shocking. In fact, Kajal left her house between 8 and 9 a.m., with a full plan in mind about when to send herself a message from her mother's phone and when to return home to create a drama. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Kajal passed the time by first going to a salon and getting her hair straightened. Kajal spends quite a bit of time in the salon, and then around 2 p.m., she sends herself a message from her mother's phone. Kajal reads that message a little later, and then goes home with two packets of juice. We have already told you everything that happened after this, but a closed CCTV camera uncovered this entire terrifying case. Well, after this story came to light, the police arrested Kajal and Krish, but they also arrested Krish's brother, Ishant. Although Ishant had no role in the murder, but he knew the entire plan, and if he had informed the police about it earlier, two lives could have been saved, since this case happened recently, only these are the current updates. However, the police have arrested Kajal, Krish, and Ishant. 
but we will keep an eye on this case and if any official statements are released in the future, we will definitely share them in the David True Crime Channel community post. So with that, the Mina and Rahul Saini double murder case comes to an end right here. Additionally, if you want to recommend any case for us to make a detailed video on, you can write the name of that case in the comments section. If you appreciate our efforts, like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Thank you.